the whole world is concerned about marketing. So why would we care about something as basic as identifying your ideal client, huh? Cal boring, am I right? Been there, done that, not going back. I get it. Everyone wants to focus on the messaging and the marketing and the client getting. But if you're struggling to get hired by enough of those right people, something is off. And for many of you, it is this. If you're like most entrepreneurs, your ideal client is nowhere near specific enough. By the end of this video, you will understand why being specific about your ideal client is key to your marketing working and making money. Pretty important stuff, right? Plus, I'm going to give you my secret for the easiest way to sort this for yourself. And it's not what the gurus tell you. Sound like a plan? If we haven't met before, I'm Wendy White, business development strategist for extraordinary entrepreneurs. I help coaches, consultants, and other thought leaders land clients and make an extraordinary impact with their message. And I'm so glad you found me. Hit the subscribe button and get to know my world. Now, let's dive right in. Why on earth is your ideal client so key to your marketing working? Well, your marketing and your messaging, it's only effective if you know exactly who you want to reach with it. I mean, you cannot write fantastic messaging if you don't know what those people need and what they want to hear, quite specifically. And you don't know what topics they want to hear, you don't know what struggles they've already faced, what they're sick of, what they want to avoid, and we don't know what they want. And we also don't know where to reach them. You know, so we can go to where they're actually hanging out and market to them there and not in all of the places? See, these are the two biggest questions I hear all of the time. Where are my potential clients and what do I say to them? Well, this is how you know. Plus, you cannot make money unless you know exactly who that ideal client is. Another really big issue I hear all of the time is lack of confidence when it comes to selling. The way to fix this is not to trick yourself with mantras or tapping into being confident or trying to attract confidence. It's to believe wholeheartedly in what you are selling, that it really solves a real pressing problem that your potential client has. But if you don't know who they are, very specifically, you won't be sure that what you're trying to sell them actually will fix a major problem. So of course you won't have the confidence to market or sell it. We can do better, right? So how do you get way more specific and identify exactly who that ideal client is? Here's what everyone gets wrong, including all the gurus. They try to get deep and specific, but in a really BS kind of way. They want you to answer a whole bunch of questions based on your imagination and have you start trying to make up ridiculous details like what your clients eats for breakfast or what they name their children or what shoes they wear, Manolo Blahnik or Jimmy Choo, and somehow it's always just those two options. See, you don't have those answers unless you are actually selling breakfast or baby books or shoes. And so you cannot answer these questions in any real way. And as a bonus, it's completely unhelpful because it's irrelevant to the work that you do. The way to get specific about your ideal client that is helpful and that you can actually figure out is who she is with regard to the problem you solve. And this is my secret. When you are trying to figure out that ideal client quite specifically, whether it's for the very first time or revisiting this. Don't start by focusing on who you want to help. Focus first on the problem you want to solve. See, it's often easier and faster to figure out what we care about fixing and then who has that issue rather than the other way around. It's the problem that we want to solve that really captures our imagination, right? That's why I have my clients sort the problem solved before trying to tackle their ideal client. So how do you do this for yourself? Well, look at the problem you solve and ask yourself, who really needs this sorted? Who needs this solved yesterday? Who can get the best, fastest results from solving this? That's your winner. And I want you to get specific and narrow down about that person as you can possibly stand. But make sure that all of the details you come up with are about who she is with regard to the problem you solve. Does that make sense? 
I hope you found this helpful. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button below and to share it with your friends. And be sure to subscribe because I'm sharing strategies like this every single week. Oh, and hit the bell to make sure to get notifications. And if you want more on this, you are welcome to join us for the after party in Wing Women. I'm going to drop the link right below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Now, go be extraordinary.